Hey everybody, Creepy Girl here. Hope you guys had a great Halloween. I uh, have three new movie reviews for you. The Pack, Chillerama, and Centipede 2. Uh, start off with The Pack. I gave that a 7 out of 10. A uh, good movie. Not as good as I thought it would be. I actually thought the movie was about werewolves, but turned out to be about some kind of strange creatures of the night. A girl picks up a hitchhiker, gets abducted by a crazy family that feeds people to these monsters. Uh, something about a biker gang, too, and revenge, and... There's a lot of suspense, some gore, good movie, good movie. I wasn't like, thought it was great, but it was a good movie. I, I rated it so high because it was very original. I never really remember seeing a movie with those kind of strange creatures. The creatures were really strange. I, I like the creatures in it, um, original. Uh, the second movie is Chillerama. This is definitely a fun party movie. It's like four different little stories. These people are at a drive-in theater and they're watching these movies. There's like three movies and then the other story is like actually what's happen happening at the theater. There's a lot of cameos in this movie. You'll recognize a lot of people in it. Um, the first one is called Wadzilla and it's about a huge killer sperm and the gore in that is like ew gore like ugh, gore you know it's 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 gross uh... the second one was I'm a teenage werebear this one actually had like musicals in it it was pretty funny uh... werebear not werewolf and has something to do with trying to think of the right word. Uh, people of different sexual preferences. But uh, it, it was good. It was funny. Uh, the third was Diary of Anne Frankenstein. Uh, this was pretty funny and it's basically a play on, you know, of course the story Diary of Anne Frank and Frankenstein kind of mixed together. That even, I think that even had almost a musical part in it. It was pretty funny. And of course the story at the drive-in theater has to do with zombies. Not just zombies, but like sexual zombies. So that was pretty crazy. Uh, this movie had some gore in it. It had a lot of humor, um, some music. It had a little bit of everything. Definitely a fun party movie. I would suggest it for like a, a movie to watch with friends and stuff. It, it was a good movie. Uh, the last movie I'm going to review is Human Centipede 2. Now in the first one there was an actual doctor that wanted to create a human centipede. Of course the ass to mouth disgustingness and with three people. Okay in this movie it is a mentally challenged adult male who in his younger life was sexually abused wants to create a 12 person human centipede and it is very medically inaccurate how he tries to do it and which leads to a lot of gore. I like this movie. I gave it a 8 out of 10 because it was very gorific. It had um, a lot of gross stuff in it too. It had a lot of poo. A lot of poo. Uh, a lot more poo than the first one. That was taken a little to the extreme in this. But the gore was just over the top. There was even a thing with a baby. So if you can't watch stuff like that, don't watch this movie because there's one part with a baby that is like, oh my god, I can't believe they just did that. But uh, very like cringing kind of gore where you will look away. You you won't be able to look at all of it. It's 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 pretty 
gorific. Pretty gorific. I loved it. I love the gore. If it makes me look away, it's awesome. And I looked away quite a few times. Definitely cringed on a lot of moments. But basic plot, you know, not a whole lot of story to it. Just the guy brings all these people to this place to connect them all. And that's pretty much the story. Um, they give you a little backstory on his life and why I guess he wants to do this. doesn't really truly explain why anybody would want to do that, but I guess in his own sick mind, there's a reason for that. But I liked it. I thought it was a good movie. Oh, and Chillerama, I gave that an 8 out of 10, too. I don't know if I said that. But Chillerama, too, 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 for both movies. They weren't, like, top-notch... Uh, groundbreaking films or anything, but they were good movies. I, I thought they were good. And that's it for this video, so pleasant screams.